What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, you guys already know, we're having back onto the ranked double ladder with this Leafeon Drought team right here, which I'm pretty hyped for. This team was made by Wolfie. You guys already probably already know who Wolfie is. Link to all of his socials, his YouTube, all that good stuff will be in the description below. Definitely go check him out. But this team right here is a Leafeon team, and I wanted to get this video out before the next season because I feel like Leafeon is going to be gone. I feel like Leafeon is going to be like just so out the way. Like it's already out the way a little bit, like no one really uses it. But once Venusaur comes in, here it kind of does what she does but way better just way better but guys if you are excited for today's video make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button seriously it goes a long way thank you to everyone who supports the channel and helps it grow on this team right here you can go two different ways with it you got the togekiss charizard you guys already know about that like you just Dynamax and Charizard turn one, and you get one, you get the Drown out with the Torkoal, and then have the Leafeon in the back. The Leafeon has Chlorophyll, will double its speed in the Drought, which is nice, which is nice. Or you can go a different way and go with uh, the Trick Room with the Dust Clops, Togekiss, Torkoal, and Rhyperior. So you can play it Trick Room, or you can play it on the speedy side. So I really do like how this team is built because it's just like, it's so versatile. You can go, you can play it for a Trick Room, or you can play it for a speed. But guys, you want to try out this team for yourself, run out the code is at the bottom of the screen, and let me know for question of the day. Since season three is coming up, when this video goes live it'll probably be the next day season three will be so i need for you guys to let me know what team would you guys like to see first i have a blastoise team a shell smash blastoise team i have a venus or drought team with a charizard with cooler fill and i have an incineroar team so let me know what team you guys would like to see first but guys without further ado let's hop on to the ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this leafeon team here we go guys, hopping into battle number one. This guy can go two ways as well. He can go with his Trick Room Dusk Ops team, or he can go with the Sandstream team. I think I might just drought him up. I think I might just drought this up. So if he goes Trick Room, I think we're fine. I'm going to bring the Torkoal not in the front, but I think I'm going to bring... I'm going to go Togekiss in the Leaf Gun and have the Charizard in the back. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Have the Torkoal and the Charizard in the back end, so I can lead the Togekiss Leaf Gun, get the... The Torkoal out there. I can swap the Togekiss out and just boost our speed to double. I don't want to lead the... What's it called? The, the Torkoal, so the Drought will just get mulling right away. Then he could swap in his boy. So I'd rather just do it this way. I think it would be a lot better and a lot more beneficial for us. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head and link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch stream. Four plus days every single week. Come hang out with me. We actually just had a very, very good day. We had a very good last stream. We went like 9-1. Absolutely dominating. Absolutely dominating on the ladder. Sometimes we have a good day. Sometimes we have a bad days. But this guy does lead the T-Tar. I got to swap out. I got to swap out. And who do I dump on? Who do I dump on? I think I'm going to dump on this T-Tar. Tell him to get out of here. Tell him to get it out. Um, we're just going to swap you, my dude. And we'll go into the Torkoal. Get that Charcoal rolling. We'll have the Charcoal to drought. And then the Charcoal will get rolling when he uses those moves. Then we're just going to D-Max right off the bat. Go into a max overgrowth and just try to dump on this T-Tar. Like, this Leafeon hits like a truck. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to take this thing out because... T-Tar is kind of a special defense tank. He can kind of eat up a decent amount of special defense shots. Or special attacking shots. And he might be weak to policy. I hope not. I hope not. The extra is either Life Orb or Focus Sash, so I don't know what the T-Tar is. Could be Lumberry, could be Weakness Policy, but this is exactly what I want to do. I want to switch in to Tutorial in order to get the Drought rolling. But guys, as you can hear in my voice, I am sick right now. I am, like, not feeling good whatsoever, but I'm still pumping out that content for, me, for you guys. I figured I wanted to get this video out before Season 3 starts, so I was just like, you know what, let's do this. Let's get rolling. Dude, I woke up feeling terrible, absolutely terrible. I was like, dude, I'm not even going to record that, and I was just like... But season three is next or tomorrow, so I was just like, you know what? Let's just get a video out here. Let's push through it. So let's get it. He's gonna D Max. He's gotta be Dynamax in the what's it called? The T Tar here. Predicting I'm going into a big shot. Onto it. He's gotta be doing it. He's gotta be. But dude, I'm so hyped for season three. Like I said, I have three different teams. Ooh, he's Dynamax the extra. But like I said, I have three different teams. The last ones, Incineroar and Venus for team. So definitely let me know for question of the day which one you want to see first in season three. But he Dynamax is the extra drill. I wonder what he's going for. Max Overgrowth pops here. We are fast. We are speedy out here. Doesn't have that sand rush anymore. And look at this. Boop. Nice big damage. Look at that one tap. And Leafeon's an absolute beast. Her stats are actually like phenomenal. Phenomenal. She hits like a truck. She's a great special attacker. Especially with that stab move. Like I said, once you get her rolling in that drought, it's GG. It's GG, dude. Double speed. It's like having the extra on the sandstorm. That's why, again, I want to switch the Torkoal in here. But Steel Spike's popping. You going after my Torko? Leave him alone, my dude. Look at that. We eat that up all day. Now I can go into an eruption, do big damage towards that extra drill. We'll be chilling. We'll boost his defense. And who's his next Pokemon? This thing is Life Orb 2, and it did poo-poo damage. Did terrible damage. Uh, the real question is, do I dump on that thing with a Max Quake? Do we think we can dump on it with a Max Quake? Because if not, he's going to take out my Torko here. Or do we think he's going to go for a Max Quake, and I can swap back into my Togekiss? Ooh-wee! I could do that. I could do that. Say he's going for that. He goes to the heat. He goes to the rotam heat. 
little bit of Rotom Heat action. Uh, I kind of want to swap into my Togekiss here. This is actually tough. This is actually really tough. Because that Rotom really counters me up very, very well. Could go for an Overgrowth. I could boost our special defense here, which would be tight nice. I can't go for him. He's levitated. I'm going to go for this extra. I feel like the extra is going to drop a Max Quake into my Torkoal. So I'm going to get my Flying Togekiss out here. Try to prevent a D-Max turn from him. And then he might take out my uh, my Leaf Bomb with an Overheat. Let's see what happens here. We go first. Max Quake. We might just be able to dump on it. Let's see what happens here. Maybe I should have stayed in. Maybe I should have stayed in. Let's see what happens. No, we do not dump on it, but it's totally fine. Let's see what happens. It's not stab. It is not stab, my dudes. We get the special defense boost. Is he going for the quake? Show me that you were going for the quake, my dude. Do it. Try to take out my Torkoal. Overheat comes out here. Uh, oh, Leafion, I love you. Leafion, I love you. Drops a special attack by two, which is nice. And the Rockfall comes across. That's tough news. On, oh, he, he played this one smart. He played this one very, very smart. Well, my Tokus does eat. I could go for a follow me this turn. And then I could take out the... How should I play this? Is he going for a guard? Is he going for a guard? Like, do I feel like he's going for a guard? Oh, he sets the sandstorm. He's going to be faster than me. But maybe I should guard. Or do I just follow me here? It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I feel like maybe I should follow me here. At least I can get the drought going again as I have the Torkoal in the back. And then I can just bring out my Charizard. Be able to do some work. Um, do I go for a follow me? He's going to outspeed. So, yeah. We are on 1 HP. We are on 1 HP. And I'm going to drop another Max Quake over into that extra drill. Or do we think he's... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this. He might be max guarded, but he knows he has the speed. Let's see what he does. He's not gonna guard. He's not gonna guard, because I believe the guard comes out before the follow me. Let's see what happens here. He goes for the rock fall. Okay. Okay, hopefully my leaf got out speed so we get rid of this extra drill before we go out here. But it's nice. This thing is minus two on a special attack, and if we get this extra drill out of here, then uh, the road time can't swap out. So its stats are gonna have to be the same. Go ahead, leaf on. <gasps> Over Did it miss? Ooh Let's go! Let's get it, baby! Bye-bye, extra drill. We're gonna send out the Torkoal. I think my leaf out might go down here to the... What's it called? To the sand stream. But that's type nice. That is honestly type nice, baby. Let me get the Torkoal out. We got the extra drill out of here. I'm gonna need my Torkoal to kind of do some work on that, uh... That Rotom. Like, that Rotom's a big threat. As it has, uh, Stab Electric for my Charizard. Ooh! Leaf on survives! So we're gonna be able to outspeed this Rotom here. Because we're getting... The, we're getting the drought back here, boys. No, we're not! What I just take double damage hits for? Oh, my life orb. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm dumb. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. We'll go tour goal into the Charizard. We are choice spec. What am I choice spec into? Probably a fire move. Probably a fire move. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. I gotta get that Rotom out of the way. Probably choice spec into a fire move. All of them are not very effective against the Rotom. So we might as well do the fire move as it's stab and we're gonna be inside the drought here. You revealed my true specs. Get out of my face, Dustclops. Surprised you brought the Dustclops this far back. Well, let's just see what happens here. Let's see how we're going to play this one. Uh, could it erupt? Hmm. The lower the user's HP, the lower the... That's decent. Um, Let's go for, let's go for the eruption here. Eruption, and then we're going to go into... Do we go for a blast burn here? I got a true spec into something. Hmm. Everything's not very effective to the road time. We know that for a fact. Um, it's either Heat Wave or Blast Burn. What do I want to do here? I can't move next turn. Uh, I'm going to go for the Heat Wave here. I'm going to drop the Heat Wave. I'm going to... I don't want to miss another turn. Overheat pops from this thing. Let me eat this up. You going on my Torkoal? That's fine, dude. My Torkoal. He's choice into that. That's big for us. That is big news for us. He's choice into the Overheat. You got to be, because you would have went for the other thing. Rotom avoids the attack? It's okay. We get it off on the Dust Clops. Should be able to do a decent amount. Yeah, Heat Wave. And Eruption could potentially take this thing out. Nice shade. Leave my Torkoal alone, my dude. Leave him alone. Torkoal's gonna do like poo poo damage here. Eruption comes out here. Let's go. Yeah, it's not gonna do too too much because its HP is low now. Okay, solar power comes out. Ooh, that's rough. That is rough. Okay, right, let's get it. Is he gonna go after my Torkoal here? I think he's gonna go after my Charizard. This is gonna be close. I feel like my Charizard should be able to take out here. We'll go for that heat wave. Get that heat wave rolling. We'll double into the heat waves. Come on, we gotta do work on this Rotom. This Rotom is actually scary. Its special attack is minus four. So, it's going to be close. It's coming down to the wire. It is coming down, baby. Yeah, he's got to be choice into that. Minus six now. I'm going to not even take on my Torkoal, right? Yeah, Torkoal survives. Hopefully, my Torkoal goes before that. I actually know the Dust Cops is faster. Heat Wave pops here. Actually, this should take out the Dust Cops. This could be big. Take him out. Let's go double kill. Did we crit that Rotom? 
We didn't even crit that Rotom. We just dumped on it. We just dumped on that thing. Let's go. Match one in the bag. GG. Let's hop into battle number two now and try to go 2-0 with this team. Battle number two on its way. This guy's rocking out with a Sandstream team. I'm hoping to just dump on it again with the leak on. That would be type nice. We marked on that last T-Tar. So I think we might just go same squat. Show that off once again. Do I do that? I feel like we have so it's like such a good like counter with the with our drought over the sandstream. So I think I'm gonna go Togekiss into the Leapion once again, swap in the Torkoal potentially, and then have that Charizard chilling in the back. We got the Charizards in the back, yeah. <laughs> so do I think he's gonna lead that sandstream? He has that Rotom as well. Rotom, I mean it only does work against my Charizard, but my Charizard should be able to outspeed and dump on it. I gotta watch out for that uh that boy right there, that Gyarados. I feel like that Gyarados is probably the the scariest Pokemon on our team. But I think he's gonna go Sandstream here. This is why, again, I'm gonna bring Torko in the back. Just hop him in there, big like, nah, son. Get your Sandstream out my face. Get it out of here, get it out of here. But we're looking to go 2-0 and here. Looking to get that 2-0 and record with us here. Let's get it, guys, let's get it. <laughs> Who's he goes with? He goes with that T-Tar, he's gonna set that Sandstream. Uh, I'm gonna dump on that T-Tar, I'm gonna tell him to go home. I'm gonna tell him to go home. I'm D Max and I'm going for that max overgrowth again. I'm gonna tell him to get out of here. Dude, Leaf Gun just murks on T Tars, dude. It's gone. It's game over. Okay, so another swap. Same thing as last time. Let's just swap that out. Get that sun going. Get the drought going. We could Sword Dance. That could be huge. But I'd rather just go for a max overgrowth. This thing has Sword Dance on it. Jeez. That's a lot of coverage as well. That's a lot of coverage as well. Let's get it. Here comes the drought, baby. Now my Leaf Gun should be faster. Doubling its speed with its ability. Glorophil, just type nice. Like I said in the beginning, Venusaur's going to take over. I feel like Venusaur drought teams are going to be absolutely dominant. They're going to be so good. Uh, is this thing going for an ally switch? This could be a Dragapult doing that. Like with the screens and the ally switch and the T-Wave. I have a feeling it is. But then at the same time, I'm like, ah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I haven't seen them in a while. Leafeon. Leafeon's one of my favorite EV Lucians. Definitely it's between Leafeon and Glaceon, the two that came out in Gen 4. Are you team action? They are. Is it the T-Tar? If it's the T-Tar, that's kind of tough. That's kind of tough. Or is it the Poltsky? It's the T-Tar. Okay, okay. This is Now it's kind of scary. Now it's kind of scary. He's probably dropping a rock on me to get the what's about coming back. He might have read that. He might have read that. And now he's going to drop a rock over where my toe kiss was. So let's see what happens here. We're going to get off this max overgrowth. How much damage are we doing? How much damage are we doing, buddy? Let's get him. That's some big damage. That is some big, big damage right there. On a Dynamax T-Tar, that thing has like three to 400 HP. Pushing 400 HP. That is some big damage. Life Orb takes away some of her health. T-Bolt's gonna fly through. Oh, my Torkoal. Yo, get out of my face. Wow, that thing actually hit me pretty hard. And the Rockfall is gonna pop over here on my Torkoal. Probably take him out. Probably take him out. Torkoal, bye, buddy. <laughs> um, so... How's it gonna work now? I don't think what's called is gonna be as fast. I don't think. I think that Dragapult will go first. But I still think my Leaf Out might be able to outspeed that, uh, that T Tar. We'll see. We'll see in a second. But do I get my Charizard out here? I really don't want my Charizard out here. I think I'd rather get my Togekiss out here. My Togekiss! He just dumped on my Torkoal. Uh, do we see a Max Garden? I potentially see a thing, Max Garden. I can take it out whenever I want. Uh, we could go for a Helping Hand and try to dump on that Dragapult. We can just go for a Dazzling Gleam. We could go for a Gleam here. I wonder what item that thing's holding, the T-Tar. It's not a weakness fossil. Um, bum, bum, I could go for a Follow Me. I think I'm just going to drop a Dazzling Gleam here. I could go for, dude, look at all this cover here. I just have a feeling he's going in with the, the what's it called? The Guard. I'm going to just keep applying pressure to it. I'm just going to apply the pressure onto the T-Tar. Hopefully we outspeed it. But who's he gonna withdraw? Oh, he's withdrawing the T-Tar. Getting his extra drill out there. That's not bad. Not bad at all. It's gotta be the extra drill, right? Hopefully we can do some big damage over Oh, it's the Mo. A little bit of Mo comes out here. T-Bolt's gonna fly across. Is this thing choice in the T-Bolt? It might be. It might be choice in the T-Bolt here. We'll see, we'll see. Overgrowth comes across. And our Dazzling Gleam's gonna do a decent amount of damage over on that Dragon Ball. I knew I should've hit him. I knew I should've hit him, but still. Oh my lord. Leaf Bound's hitting like an absolute truck right here. Citrus Berry pops here. I might go for a follow me next turn and take out whichever mod I want. To be honest. Let's see how much this Dazzling Gleam does to both these Pokemon. Dazzling Gleam! I love how she spins with it. 
Not bad damage. Totally not bad damage. Now, who do I want out the way? Is the question. I don't really see that uh, Rotom doing too, too much with me. I'm just trying to waste out this uh, these turns right here. But I think I'd rather get the Dragon Bolt out the way here. The Poltski gone. They gotta kind of get the Electric out of here. The Electric is uh, such a pain. He has no more D-Max. We have one more turn with our D-Max. Um, bump, bump, bump. We'll go for the Follow Me, play this one. And then I'm gonna take out the boy right there. Uh, do I boost my... I think I boost my defense. I should be able to take him out. I'm gonna boost my defense here for when the extra drill and the T-Tar comes rolling back in. But he's saving that for the end, and that's actually very scary. That's actually very scary. He's going to the extra drill now? Or you bring him back out the T-Tar? That's totally fine. Bring back out the T-Tar. I'm fine by it. I'm fine with that T-Tar. Because as long as the T-Tar is not out, then he can't really swap in and get the Sandstream rolling again. Because the Sandstream should be ended soon. So that's going to take us out here. We're going to take out his Dragon Bolt. How many turns left in the Sandstream? That is scary. This is, this is the scary part. Gotta do some work here. Steel Spike's going to pop. They buy to the pole We'll get the defense boost as well, which is nice. Uh, Leaf Blade will be able to take out the T-Tar, and now all I have to worry about is that extra drill. All I have to worry about is that extra drill, but he can just dump on me turn one, which is tough, which is tough with my Charizard. If I can pull off a Heat Wave, that's game over. That is just game over. Okay, okay. I know a Leaf Blade. Do we, wait, do we outspeed that thing? That's my question. I forget if we totally outspeed it. So, I think I just go into a Heat Wave here. Nice little heat wave action. Oh, you saw Mo. I totally forgot about Mr. Mo over here. My Charizard should be able to outspeed. The, uh, at least the, the Mo. Or I think both of them. Charizard's a fast little mod. So heat wave will be able to take that out. Oh, we might be sitting pretty here. We might be sitting pretty. Heat wave comes through. And we'll drop a nice little leaf blade over there. I could Swords Dance, but no. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it smart. I'm gonna play it smart. Heat wave. Charizard goes first. Who dodged it? Who dodged that one? Please show it's. Okay, cool, cool. T-Tar dodged it. I was going to say, that Rotom really dodged that. We had a crit, but we didn't even need it. That was choice, spec, stab, big super effective damage over on there. And Leafeon's going to go first and take out the C-Tar. Comes down to a 2v1. Wow, dude, that move looks dope. That move looks dope. It's like, sing, sing, sing. Just chomping up everything. So, 2v1 situation here. I have a, uh, I have Dig. I have Dig here. I could Swords Dance. We're not going to outspeed this extra drill unless it's, uh... Unless the Sandstream ends, then we might have a chance. I wish I could protect with my T-Tar. Not my T-Tar. My Charizard. But the Sandstream actually might end. Oh, we, wait. I thought you had Excadrill. No, he never brought Excadrill. Why am I thinking he has Excadrill? Um, this is totally fine, to be honest. Why am I thinking he has that? We're gonna go here. And we'll just go into a Leaf Blade. Play Swords Dance? Nah, we'll just go into a Leaf Blade. Get a little bit of stab damage. Start doing some work on it. Why did I think he had the Excadrill? Protect, that's totally fine. I should have Swords Dance. Oh my lord, I should have Swords Dance. Could you imagine just reading that Protect? Do I read the Protect next turn? It really depends how the turns line up here. Sandstorm does subside. No more Sandstorm. But I was thinking the whole time he had an extra. But he did lead the pole in the T-Tar. And he never showed an extra. He never showed it. I don't even think his team preview had an extra. Let me see. I'm actually checking it out. Yeah, he did have an extra in his team preview. But he never brought it. Okay. Uh, heat wave, we're choosing to do a heat wave. We have to go for it. Hopefully we can get a burn. I'm gonna leaf blade now. Because he can't protect again. And then maybe he might protect next turn. We should have the speed advantage. I don't know about my leaf out. I know my charge up for sure. Show me the burn. That'd be huge. That'd be a huge burn. No burn. But we do have the speed advantage, which is type nice. Nice. This is game. This is game. We have the speed advantage. Leafeon will go first. Unless he takes out my leaf on here. But yep, he does not. I didn't think so. He'll take out my Charizard. My leaf will go first. Be able to punk on that thing. There's no need for me to even read the protect and go into a sword stance. We outspeed and we do enough damage to already KO this guy Rose. But let's get it, baby. 2-0. 2-0 with this team. Hopefully next battle we can actually show off the trick room side of this team. But we've been playing this perfectly. We've been playing this so perfectly. Getting that Torkoal in there, setting the drought. Torkoal went out early here, but this Leaf Gun's an absolute beast. Absolute beast. Even without that drought, it's still doing mean damage. Still pretty fast. Its stats are just pretty solid all around. All around solid stats with this Leaf Gun. Such good evolution. I feel like it's an underrated evolution because you don't really see many of them. But still, GG 2 0 with this team. Now let's hop into our third and final battle for this video. What are the chances? We are using the exact same team. My boy Joe Mama over here picked the exact same team I am. Using the same exact rental code, but we're, we're about to give him the Merkins. I think the best option would be go into a Trick Room team here because say he brings his fast team my trick room can just out outspeed it once we get the Trick Room rolling. And if he brings that Trick Room team, we can kind of just like match his play. 
So I think that's fine. But if you guys are hanging out with me in the third and final battle, give me a little bit of hashtag six squad in the comment section down below, considering I am sick right now. Give me a little bit of hashtag six squad. I'd love to know who hangs out with me and watches the videos all the way through. But yeah, we're gonna bring the trick room team here. Try to show that off. We're gonna go clopsy claps. Or I could go, do I read? If he goes clops, I'ma go. Do I go kiss? I'ma go kiss Torkoal and uh Rhyperior. If he does go clops here, like if he plays his dust clops into his so kiss, I'm gonna swap my right period and try to force him to play the trick room. If I can have my right period, I can be one step ahead of him. Have that right period out and ready. Who are you going with, my dude? Hmm. I feel like we're fine. I feel like if we have this trick room team and he goes in with this drought team, we can just trick room and beat him. And then we just, we would just have to outplay him if he rolls trick room. We would just have to outplay him, which I got it. I got it. We got Joe Mama over here. Joe Mama! <laughs> I love that joke. That's probably like one of my favorite meme jokes ever. Like, I don't know why it just cracks me up every single time, especially when people fall for it. Like it is just so funny to me. But he goes to the drought team here, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. I could go for a follow me. What shall I do? I think it's choice spec. So is he gonna going to D Max? Revealing its choice spec. I know I know exactly what he has. We'll go trick room. And bump bump bump. I could yawn on the Charizard. But I'm gonna throw a yawn over on this side, just in case he swaps. Just in case he's trying to do what I was doing, to swap into the right period. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna just yawn on him. I'll be like, meow. I love the sound of yawn. How's it going? It's like, meow, meow. It's <laughs> so funny. The Pokemon of the year came out. Well, it was like the top 10 Pokemon, like ever, I think. I think Greninja got one. I know Charizard was like four. I saw Rayquaza on the list. Gengar was 10. I know that for a fact. Umbreon made like fifth. It, it beat Sylveon. It beat Sylveon. Like, Sylveon was up there on the top 10. So, I saw that. So, Sylveon got top 10. And a new Mythic Pokemon was revealed, which is pretty dope for Sword and Shield. He does Dynamax to the Charizard, which I am totally fine with. I am 100% fine with here. I am totally fine with it. We're going to put him to sleep. We're going to get this trick and rolling. You're not going to be able to take on my cops here. Not a chance. Helping hand. Even if you do helping hand, I feel like we eat this one up. What you got, my dude? Go ahead. Go into that Max player. You should be able to eat that. Oh, you're going after my token kiss. That is totally fine. That is totally fine. What you think I was following me? I'm not using that. I'm putting you to sleep now. I won't get this trick room out. We will be chilling. Yawn comes out. Yeah, go to sleep. I'll stay in one more turn with my toe kiss. I don't care if the toe kiss goes out here. I just want to get my what's called up in here. I want to get my Rhyperior in here. Because if I get the Rhyperior in here, I can bulldoze trigger his weakness policy and start running this match. Um, I'm going to Nightshade over on you, and I'm going to just follow me. I'm going to just follow me. My toe kiss will go out here. With Totally fine. Totally fine here. This is Charizard's gonna take it out with another Max player. Oh, uh, yeah. Jeans the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the three. Oh, man. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. But I'm so hyped for the next season, man. Like, I cannot wait. Hopefully, the meta changes up. A good bit. I'm sick of, like, the trick room teams and all that. Like, they're, they're fun. They were fun when they first came out, but it's just been way too long. So, I cannot wait for the Venusaur to come out here. All that good stuff. But follow me, Pops. It doesn't even matter that he went for follow me. Like, we were going after you anyway. That was my plan all along. We'll be able to drop a little bit of Nightshade action. And then the Charizard's going to go to sleep and take out my Toe Kiss, which is huge. Which is honestly huge. Max Player's going to come here. I'll get my Rhyperior. Dynamax, get the Bulldoze going. And pretty much game over. You can go for a follow me. I'm dropping a rock on either of the Pokemon. Whichever one you choose is done. I might actually just go after the Toe Kiss. Because this thing's slumped. This thing is slumped. Let's get it. Rhyperior, get on out here. Get on out here. Then I can bring my Torkoal in the back later. One thing I do wish this Duskop did have was a uh, Pain Split. This Pain Split just help, it, like really does help out in like the, or, like, the end game situations when you need some help. It's like a one on one. So let's go Bulldoze. Has no effect on anybody except for my right period. That is chilling. Dynamax. Um, bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna just drop it on the Charizard. I'm gonna drop it on the Charizard. Because if you follow me, that's fine. Or there's a chance of that Tokus maybe protecting something along those lines. I'll just take out. I get, I get the free kill. I get the free kill here. But he has to have the Leaf Gun in the back. So I do have to kind of watch out for that when I bring in my Torkoal later if he has the Leaf Gun. Be tough, dudes. Be tough, dudes. But we are going to trigger a weak dispositive. You guys know, big boy right here. That Leaf Gun will dump on me. That Leaf Gun will 100% dump on me. Without a trigger. It will one shot me. It will just one shot me. Bam, 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 bam. Actually, is Leaf Gun? Leaf Gun's a physical. Why do I think she's special? Yeah, Leaf Gun's physical on this team. Pull those pops. I know it doesn't affect all you guys. It's my plan. Give me that. Look at that. 
nice little six damage, was it? Nope, I did math wrong. I did math wrong. There's a nice little 15 damage, which we eat that up all day. We'll be able to drop our weakness policy here. We spot a max rock fall by Charizard. You're gone. Get him out of here. Hopefully he brings out the leaf gun. I'd rather just dump on the leaf gun here. If he goes for a follow me with a leaf gun, I'm going to just ally switch. I'm going to throw him off, my dude. I'm going to throw him off. Ally switch is a lot of fun as well. That's like one of those moves, like, if you can just, like, do it multiple turns in a row, it is hilarious. Like, you just keep dodging their attacks. <gasps> you little biscuit. You little biscuit. Go ahead. Bring out your what's gone. Bring out your leaf gun. I would love to ally switch and dump on somebody. He yawned on me. He yawned on me. That's totally fine. That boy yawned on me. Down my face. So I'll go to sleep next turn. Still have my Torkoal. I feel like Torkoal with the Dust Cops should be fine. I think my Dust Cops will be here for a little bit. I just have a feeling he's bringing out the Leaf Gun. No, he brings out the Torkoal. He has the Leaf Gun in the back. It's a fact. It's a scary fact here. Uh, I gotta take out the Torkoal. I got, I'm just dropping a rock. It's gonna kill whoever it lands on. I think their whole team is super effective to rock. Like, it's crazy. Uh, I could ally switch. I could Nightshade over on the Tokus. I think I'm just gonna drop a nice little Nightshade. I'm gonna drop a rock. It's rock. This is game over. Uh, Torkoal? Do I take Torkoal out here? Yeah. Hopefully my ride period is slower. I don't think it is. I think Torkoal is gonna be slow here. Tokus goes for follow me. We'll be able to take out the Tokus here. He's gonna be able to do some big damage. Which is rather scary. Torkoal goes for a Solar Beam. Oh. Ooh, that's rough news. That is rough. I think this is going to take me out. Eat it, buddy. No. Ooh, Rhyperior eats that up. No problem. No problem whatsoever. I can go into an ally switch next turn. It'd be nice. Do we have one more turn in Trick Room? If we have one more turn in Trick Room, we are chilling here. Because I could get this leaf gun out the way. I go for an ally switch and just do some work. Tantrum is rolling. No more drought, though. That is huge. That is huge. Show me that we still have Trick Room here. Nightshade's going to slide over here. He's not specs, he's charcoal, so let's show him. Oh, we're slumped. Oh, I forgot about it. I forgot about the yawn. Leafeon's gotta come out here. Leafeon, Leafeon, yeah, Leafeon. Yeah, here it is. Leafeon comes out here without the drought, which is rather scary. How many turns left in his trick room? Hmm. One. Okay, uh. I think I'm just gonna nightshade the Torkoal. I think I am gonna nightshade the Torkoal. I'm gonna drop a Quake over on the Leafeon. I don't wanna set the- Why did I do that? Why Why would I- Why did I do that? That is not very effective. But still, we're asleep anyway. We're asleep. I saw super effective and I was just like, Okay, we'll take out Leafeon. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it's all good. We're gonna be asleep here. Heat wave pops here. Ooh, it's not in the drought, which is actually type nice. I'm just hoping we get a Trick Room up next turn. Leafeon is probably gonna take me out. Which is scary. Actually, we might be able to eat. Because that thing is a physical attacker. We're a defense tank. Trying to bring this thing's health down. Eat this up, buddy. Nope. Leafeon just hits too hard. Hits too hard. If I can get this trick room going, I can... We got this one in the bag. We got this one in the bag. Or I can just go for an ally switch and drop an eruption. I could do that. Thinking this thing might be going for a dig. We're going to... Oh, no. They're going to outspeed us. So what is the play here? Honestly, what is the play? We bring this out. I think I have to trick him. This thing has Dig and Iron Tail. And Dig it, Dig would be super effective. I can totally ally switch later. Hmm. See, we got the Drought going. Eruption should be big damage here. We're going to go for the trick room. I mean, if I pull this off, we're fine. If the trick room's not even going to be needed, it's just going to be an RNG battle. So I just say we make sure this... uh. This Torkoal goes out here. Because I, I feel like an Eruption would be able to take it out. That we, we should be able to take out the Leap Down with an Eruption. Oh, it's coming down. Here comes the Dig. I'm going to ally switch next turn for sure. And try to take out this, what's it called? This Torkoal. It's going to be an RNG battle for our Torkoals here. Get it. Nice little Nightshade. How much damage? Take him out. Oh. No, your Eruption went first. Get out of here. That's going to do no damage, though. You're very low in health. And how should I play this? How should I play this? Do we think he's predicting the ally switch here? That would be a great read, to be honest. That would be a phenomenal read on this guy's part. Like, if he does this, he deserves to win. I'm going to go for the ally switch. My mind's set on it. Come on, baby. 4-3, you know. Ally switch. And I'm going to drop an eruption. Come on, baby. Oh! No way you're reading this. 
No way you're reading this. If he thinks this one through, he could read me. Yes, sir. Let's go. That is game. This little ally switch. I'm surprised he didn't read it. I thought he really was going to, considering he knew the exact moves I had. Well, let's go. 3-0 with this team, baby. This team's actually very good. We get a crit, too, to end it off. This team's actually very, very solid. With that Leafeon, that drought, we got to show it off how strong that Leafeon is. And now we just got to show off how strong the Trick Room side of this team is. This team kind of made me change my mind about Leafeon. Like, I always thought Leafeon was solid, but I never thought she was anything special. But this team actually shows that. I feel like she's underrated now. Like, this thing's an absolute beast. We dumped on T-Tars. We double our speed in the sun. And it's just big damage all around. But, guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.